Yeah. No, you stay. Chief, don't you go nowhere? No. Hey, hey, how you doing? How are you? Hey, we're on it's Facebook so Live. How are you? Good to yeah. see you. Yeah. Lakeisha yeah. Sutton, say hello to all the people back in South Carolina. How's it going, Game Cognition? <laughs> so you're out here in Dallas, right? I am, yes. First time. First time at the Final Four. Wow. Very proud. It is exciting to watch, isn't it? Yes. I mean, it, this is a vision that Coach Daly had in 2008, so it's just cool to see it all come to fruition. And um, just her, her speech about community service, sacrifice, yeah. um, winning, it, it was the exact same in 2008, so it's cool to see like our logos everywhere. I love it. Yeah, so you were on that first team, right? Yeah. Don Staley's first team. Mm -hmm. What What do you think now when you look at what this program has become? I mean, every year we just expect they'll be going to the Final Four right. and ju they just become the program. I mean, that has to give you a sense of pride. Again, just very proud, also very honored, right? Like, she could literally choose whoever she want. Like, even back then, she could have chose anybody. But to give, you know, someone like myself from Trent, New Jersey, an opportunity to be a part of something greater is, like, I can't even put it into words. And people see me, I don't, they're like, do you play at South Carolina? I'm like, I did. Yeah. And they're like, oh, I remember. You were, like, in the beginning, the, like, foundation. So that's humbling. So, but again, I'm proud of the whole program, the whole entire state. I love it, watching it. Okay, well, let me ask you your expert opinion. <laughs> How would you defend Caitlin Clark? Well, I mean, I wouldn't let her touch the ball, but that's that was the role that I took on for South Carolina. Like, I always guard the other team's best players. So, I mean, she's a great player. Great players are going to score, but it's just how she's going to get her points tomorrow. That's really impressive. You know, when we think about this team, you know, and they make winning look so easy, right? But it takes so much discipline. And one of Dawn's favorite sayings, a disciplined, a disciplined person, person could, could do, do anything. anything. Judy, it's it. the same Listen, thing. Yes. It's the same thing, right? Right. But, but it's so true. It's, it's so, so true, true, isn't it? It is. Um, that was one of her mantras, like, early on. And I, I literally carry that. You know, I'm a coach now, so my kids are like, discipline? What? I'm like, no, it works. You just got to follow it and trust the process because – I know in my first four years, a lot of people came, but they left. They thought mm -hmm. yeah. like, it was too hard. They didn't see the vision, but I'm proud that I was able to graduate from South Carolina. And um, just so, you know, Game Cognition is everywhere I go. I'm like, yep, mm-hmm, Game Cog. Right. Yes, and I just, yes. I just love the sense of pride that everyone has wearing the Game Cog gear. I'm um, even talking about all the players, not just Aaliyah Boss, and they know literally everyone yes. on the team. And that's credit to you guys, you know, doing the, the news coverage. So that's awesome. So tell the folks where you're coaching. I'm coaching at the George School in Newtown, Pennsylvania. It's a boarding school, so any kid that wants to be coached and taught how to play the right way, come see me. The right way is the key part of that. Don't yes, miss that right part, way, right? The, the right, right way. way. Yep. Absolutely. You know, and that's the other thing Dawn said about this particular team, and I think that's what makes her such a great coach, that right. as each squad changes, you know, from year to year with the additions and, you know, new recruits coming in, she's able to meet them where they are, right? And she said with this team, what she's enjoyed coaching about them so much is she can just get creative with her basketball mind. And she says literally, you know, in the middle of a game, if, you know, she can come up with something, she can talk to them about it in the huddle, and they can go out and they're execute. Do whatever yes. she says, whatever yes. she draws up, because they're that, like, they're they're like this. And nothing on the outside could pull them apart. Not social media, not stats, yeah. not NILs. It's just they're literally committed to whatever Coach Daly say. Okay. Really the whole coaching staff. Okay, right. I got to ask you, like, when you're coaching your team, do you find yourself at times going, you know what? I sound, I sound like Don Staley. No, so I'm only in my second year, but literally everyone's like, you're, you just you just like her. Like the way we pace, we just kind of get this look like, and then we know how to turn up right, to the right, refs, but right. it's always been about the players. So, you know, I'm very, again, I'm very honored, very humbled that, you know, she gave me an opportunity. And everywhere I go, they're like, Don Staley, Don Staley. So I'm like, yes, yes. So yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm appreciative, very and you know appreciative. What, what about for this generation of college athletes because you mentioned NIL, you know, just with that, but it has literally changed the game for them. Big time. And, you know, Coach Staley would say, you know, because early on, she wouldn't let y'all get on social media. I was just telling my friends, I'm Remember? like, we couldn't have social media. Couldn't we couldn't have, we couldn't have different colored shoes. Yeah. No, you couldn't do none of that. We couldn't no. wear our hair. Like, it was very, right. like, she was preparing us for being a professional. Exactly. exactly. And it's changed. So. But the rules of the game has changed, you know, and that's what she says, you know, the, the, the young kids now, they're on social media. And so that's where you kind of have to meet them. And yes. I love seeing them. her doing TikTok. And, I know. I love it. But stuff. that was her back then. But right. she was very, like, just 
shy she, and like reserved. Exactly. Now she's reserved. dancing on TikTok and all of that. I said she got rhythm now. She I know. Like, <laughs> but she made a great point because she said the way that she had to regulate social media back then, now she says NIL regulates it because they have a brand to protect. They yes. have an image to protect. Right. Yes. And you're not going to pull down that NIL bag if you on TikTok and um, Twitter showing out, right? Yes. yes. But that's just, that's the professional, you know, right, like right. she's literally done everything male or female that wants to play basketball has accomplished. So why would you not listen to her? You know, right. why would you not so follow good. and just, just follow her leadership? But it, it's not just her, it's her entire staff. Like yeah. iron sharpens iron. So I'm, yeah. I'm just, I'm excited to see it. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, you I'm mentioned something about, you know, <laughs> Coach Staley being shy and reserved, like mm -hmm. when she first came here, yeah. right? Yeah, and, I hope her come out of all of that. And then, and, and what do you think about it now? You know, especially you look at her press conferences, uh, commercials, and yeah, I used to tell people, I said, you know, when she was first here, yeah, you know, she's kind of shy, and, and people just don't. And she was misunderstood as well. Yeah, yeah. I, I can relate because I'm from Trent, New Jersey. Uh -huh. She's from Philly. We're both from the project. So it's like when I got to South Carolina, I was quiet. My teammates yeah. like, are you leaving? Are you staying? I was like, I'm here, but I'm just not from the South. So it's a culture shock, but I'm very, I'm just like. I love to see her dancing and touching, like, baby. She was doing that a long time ago, but, yeah. you know, you guys have really made South Carolina her, like, second home, so I'm, I'm, I'm here for all of it. Yeah, we're yeah. here for it, too, girl. We're we are here for it, too. It's bigger than it's basketball amazing. with her, too. Yeah, I got to ask real quick. So someone asked Aaliyah today what her best impression of Dawn Staley would be. Mm. And when you said, can I get a piece of paper, was that alluding to oh, how no, she that's her. the paper? Because that is I don't exactly no paper. what Aaliyah Boston said. She said, does anybody have a piece of paper? I don't have any paper, but no, it's just like that little... <laughs> and she's going to write something and she's going to erase it and be like... We got to fight. That's it. That's it. That's and, it. and her favorite that's thing it. is like, don't be denied. That's it. Yes. So, I mean, yes. I, it's, it's bigger than basketball with Coach Staley. It and is. It's just, I, I wish, I'm happy that people are getting to see her because she was a misunderstood. Like, she's quiet. Philly. I'm like, no, she's just taking it all in. She's she very is. humble. And she's very, very intentional. Humble. Yes. She's very intentional. Very intentional. Yeah. yeah. I'm here for And, you know, I, um, I saw a lot of Coach Staley in you when you were playing for her because, you know, you were, you were kind of quite reserved, but, yo, you were tough out on that court. Thank you. You know, and you, you were tough. Like, you I'm know. not laughing. I'm, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, you, want, you want me to guard Maya Moore? Okay, I got you. Do you, you want me to guard? You. Yeah. But yeah. Um, no, it's just, you know, it's her preparation, like the yeah. discipline part, right? Just, yes. So even yes. to be able to watch the open practice, I'm like, it's the same drills. I'm like, this is amazing to see. But yeah. the, like the, the teams that we had to play against, those tall Kentuckys and Tennessees, yeah. like now that's us. That's us. And I love it. And that's I don't feel us. bad for anybody. I don't either. So I don't I'm, either. It's our time to shine. Yeah, I'm excited. Yes. Okay, yes. I got to ask you too, because, you know, you um, – you and I communicated on Twitter earlier right. this week. And I was you like, were, I hope to see you in Dallas. Yeah, and I yeah. said, I hope to see you too. <laughs> and I know you, I said, you go into the game, you said you didn't have a ticket. Mm -hmm. You got a ticket yet? I do. They put me on alumni list. Yay! 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 All right. Yay! All right, because Look, I'm going to reach out to Game out. Cognition okay. and say. I mean, even if I did, I would have bought it. It's right. support women's basketball. Yeah. The game yeah. has done so much for me personally. Uh -huh. The state of South Carolina, so. I'm, I'm all for it. Yeah. Okay. Well, for that's it. the other thing. The Gamecock bond is strong. I mean, I have no doubt Sheila Foster will be here. You know, oh, she was up in she, Greenville. Remember when we were in Tampa everywhere. covering oh, yeah. the Final Four? And somebody was, like, making all this noise at the hotel. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, they were outside, dancing. Outside the roof, my room. The roof. The, it was Sheila Foster. Oh, my we God. were, like, she yeah. was singing Bruno Mars <laughs> songs doing, and everything. They were singing Bruno Mars. Oh, my God. <laughs> but, hey, you know how I found out? She had the red yeah. Yes. Love yes. 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 You know how I found out that it was them? How? She and her friends were out there talking about it, right? I said that was you outside my hotel room. I know, waking us up early. Just getting, hey, Chief, getting <laughs> all turned up. Right. Yes. In the morning. In the morning. Yes. Like, like walking in, my uh, my friends, they're like, everyone keep looking at you. I was like, I haven't been to South Carolina in years. I, they don't know who I am. And it was like, is that? Is that? And they're like, yup, that's her. That's uh, her. So, yeah. But th the point of it is like, you guys created something very special. And it's like no one can take that away. It's right. not about what player come, what player leave. It's like right. you guys, the fans, really created that that six man. So I'm I'm proud. I'm from Jersey, but I'm 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 repping South Carolina. We there love it. We Everywhere. Love it. Everywhere. We love it. Hey, you know, just like Judy is, she's from Georgia, but she's a Carolina girl now. You're Listen. a Carolina girl. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. I actually have Forever to the tatted on my knee. I think I don't know if you Do remember, you? but I had the knee issues my my senior right. year. Uh -huh. So. But, you know, overcoming adversity. Like, it was yes. easy to stay, I mean, leave or sit out. But I was like, 
Whatever you say, Coach Staley, I'm going to do it. Whatever you want, yeah. I'm going to do it. So I take pride in telling people, like, you got to stick it out. You can't just keep jumping around because you hit a little bit of adversity. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Absolutely. So. Can I just tell you that even just in this brief conversation that we've had, the kids that you coach are so lucky to have you. Can you them again? Listen, <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. I just, on my spirit right now, I try to have an obedient spirit, so I'm just telling you, they are so lucky and so blessed to have you, you in their lives, to ground them and to let them know that their dreams are a possibility. It's possible. And that hard work pays off. It does. You, you know, have to listen. Yes. You have to listen. Yes. You have to yes. listen. Trust but the process. No. Trust the vision. I'm mm -hmm. very I'm very excited. I just want to say this publicly. Mm -hmm. If there's ever a biopic of Coach Staley, I shouldn't have to audition. I'm going to just say that. <laughs> so help me out, Gamecock Nation. Help like, me out, baby. Like, yes. we got the same, yes. same background, yes. same everything, same knees, same. Yeah. Oh, help me out there. That's awesome. Thank Girl, you thank guys. you so much. It's so great to see you. So great. Yeah. Yes, yes, Thanks yes. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. See you guys tomorrow. Appreciate it. Tomorrow. Yes. Nine right. o'clock. Right. Right. It's going to be on. Girl, it's going to be on. It's going to be all on. All right. Bye, Lakeisha. See all the extra stuff y'all get on Facebook Live? Y'all yeah. don't even know. Everybody's okay, that's tuning a good, TV. That's a good ending point. It there, really yeah. is. Right it yeah. really is. We can't go up from there. Yeah. So, I know. I know. So, you told us that you're loving Dallas. We're going to end with that's Big right. D and D. <laughs> um, what do you miss about South Carolina, though? Southern cooking, yeah. the, the hospitality, yeah. um, the SEC country, yeah. you know, uh, uh. being a little closer to my family in Georgia. Yeah. Uh, you guys at WIS. I was waiting on that part. <laughs> I was waiting on that part. Okay. Okay. Oh, we Best miss you, last. too. We Thank miss you, guys. you too. Okay, All right. you know, I was, I was waiting for him to say, Mike B. Peach, just throw that in there, too, <laughs> Thank now. You. Thank yeah. You. <laughs> you know. I can't get one, any of those here. Yeah. Uh-huh. See there? Special, special delivery. Texas special got a delivery. lot. That's they right. ain't got no. That's right. Yeah. All right, you guys, thank y'all so much for hanging out with us on yeah. Facebook Live. Keep it tuned to WIS News 10. We got our crew here. We got you covered for the best coverage, chasing a championship, covering the Gamecocks in the Women's Final Four. We'll see you tonight on WIS TV and all day tomorrow.